Hey there, it's Andrew Axum with Axum Outdoor Adventure, Axman on the Slingshot Forum, and today I'm going to tackle a little project I've had in the pipeline for about a month now. Uh, I was able to get my hands on a pretty nice wooden box that had some equipment shipped into it, and I thought it would make a good catch box. So it's been sitting in my garage for about a month now. Finally going to tackle it, see what I can do with it. So this is the box, and uh, it came with a lid, thought about putting the lid on some hinges and putting it back on there so I could close it up when, uh, when it's not being used, but I think I may have thought of another, another idea. So the first thing I did is cut a piece of wood off of the lid that will fit in here to uh, sort of form an angle so that all my shots will roll back to the back. Uh, hopefully that'll help keep them in and keep them all towards the back where they're easily collectible. So here it is with that piece attached. It will help the uh, ammo catch in there and roll back down to the back, hopefully. So here is the basic box. Uh, just uh, put the little slanted piece down in there so the shots roll back and they're easy to collect and put a little extra piece on the front there just to kind of clean it up. Now I'm going to take it around back and paint it. So here's the box painted. Just kind of wanted it to uh, be protected from the elements a little bit. And uh, I just painted the whole thing black. Actually, I may do some stenciling on the side later, I'm not sure, but I can decorate it up later. I just wanted to be able to shoot in it. For the cloth in the back, I'm just going to use an old towel, and I had the idea to try to staple it in there with a, uh, with a staple gun instead of using a rope or something to hang it on. Got plenty of staples, so I can always redo it if I need to. So here's the box with the uh, fabric, which is just a towel that I cut in two. Uh, stapled it along the top with a staple gun. So I got the box pretty much all the way constructed. Got the fabric, which was just an old towel that I cut in half. I used a staple gun to staple it to the top of the, uh, the inside of the box. Was able to fire off about five shots before it started raining pretty hard. And uh, it seems like it's, it's grabbing the shots and depositing them right where I want it to. So that part's good. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the rain to die down a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna string up some spinner targets and uh, put those in the box after a while and take a few shots and see how it works. So here is the finished box. And when I say finished, um, I may still do some other things to it. I thought about doing some stenciling on the side and stuff, but today I wanted to get it painted to protect against the elements and I just wanted to get it functional. Okay, it started raining, so I'm back in the garage, but that was me taking just a few shots with my new uh, Scout LT. By the way, I'm absolutely loving this thing. But um, So I'm gonna call the catch box a success. Um, I was able to hit the, uh, the spinner targets, not well, but I hit each one of them at least once. I'm gonna find a way to hang some cans from the top so it's not just spinners that I can shoot at all the time, but I'm pretty pleased. Um, I got a receipt here. I want to. So this is the receipt from Menards, and uh, the total that I spent was eleven dollars and seventy-two cents. Uh, that was for spray paint, and I bought a pack of the little eye uh, screws to to hang my string on there for the spinner targets. I didn't have any of those, but eleven dollars and seventy-two cents. I got the box for free from work. Um, all the rest of the stuff, the towel I just had laying around for $11.72 just using some stuff I had around here. Um, the targets I got for free from Sniper Sling when I placed an order, so I didn't even buy those. So $11.72 for a do-it-yourself catch box, 
I'm going to call it a success.